The two musicians appeared to spend time together on vacation in Mexico earlier this month. The two musicians were spotted stepping out to dinner at Giorgio Baldi restaurant in Los Angeles on Tuesday, shortly after they sparked dating rumors by appearing to spend time together on vacation in Mexico earlier this month. McRae, 20, sported casual attire including Adidas track pants and black boots for the dinner outing, while Leroy, also 20, wore a red Indiana University sweatshirt with ripped jeans, a gray beanie and Converse sneakers. Earlier this month, both performers vacationed in Mexico and were filmed dancing with friends in a clip that's since been shared by fans to social media. Eagle-eyed fans also spotted similarities in settings of photos from the vacation posted to social media by both the greedy singer and Leroy, as well as McRae posing for an Instagram selfie in a shirt that looks eerily similar to one the stay artist wore on the trip. Leroy commented a sunglasses wearing smiling emoji on McRae's post from the vacation, while a fan alleged that one of his tattoos is visible in a group shot she shared. Reps for both McRae and Leroy have not responded to people's request for comment. McRae was most recently in a relationship with ice hockey star Cole Sillinger from late 2021 through early last year. Previously, she dated fellow Calgary, Alberta, Canada native Johnny Hader from 2019 through 2021. Leroy previously was in a relationship with Katerina Deme for about three years, though he seemed to confirm their breakup by deleting all photos with the TikTok star from his Instagram page in August 2023, per Daily Mail, and later sharing a picture in a shirt printed with the words F. Love. Heartbreak provided inspiration for McRae's latest album Think Later, which dropped in December 2023. In an interview with Vogue around its release, she opened up about the relationships that inspired the record's lyrics. I feel like I'm in a whole new phase of my life, McRae told the outlet. I just feel a lot more grown, and that I've gone through experiences that I was too terrified to talk about before. She added, over the past year and a half, I made a lot of decisions based on intuition and what I was feeling in my heart. And that resulted in some of the most beautiful relationships and passionate times of my life, and I fell in love so hard, but I went through experiences that were very unpleasant too, and felt the repercussions of that approach harshly. When you lead with intuition, you feel the consequences ten times as hard. That's really how the album shakes out.